Why your name blessing? You know why? Because I'm special. Look at me. I'm a mama girl. I'm so, so special. I'm blessed from God. Everybody should love God. That's why I name blessing. On the spot news media. We got the latest news, we don't care about the views, we just representing right. Put local news internationally every night on the spot. Wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah man, my viewers and subscribers, what a gun. A blessed and wonderful Thursday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a story to share with you, the regular members of Jan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So now my peeps, from the other day, may I pay special attention to the rural section of the St. Catherine North Police Division, paying particular attention to Linstead and surrounding communities, where since the start of the year, we have seen an increase in the number of loss of lives that has occurred in that particular police area. Now on your screen is faces of some of those who have lost their life since the start of the year up to present day. Now as you can see on your screen it's quite a few for just the Linstead police area only. Not the entire St. Catherine North Police Division, but just Linstead and surrounding communities. Now, most of these persons presently on your screen lost their lives in a community called Trinity or over there in Commodore. Some has lost their lives in neighboring communities and streets, lane alleys, you name it. Trust me, Linstead definitely not going good. So since the start of the year, 26 persons has been recorded by the police as persons who have been slaughtered in our streets by criminal elements plaguing the Linstead police area. Now we are going to pay special attention and feature one of the criminal gangs who is raking havoc in the Linstead police area. Now the name of that gang is known as the Trinity Gang. Now the community of Trinity, because that is where the gang got its name from, the community of Trinity. Ironically, Trinity is located just behind the Linstead police station. So this just goes to show that these criminal elements have no respect for law and order. Because the community of Trinity is right behind the Linstead police station. Now on your screen is some recent vlogs that I did covering certain knockings and clappings events that took place in that police area also. So for those who missed those vlogs, please go back and play catch up so you can understand exactly what's going on in this particular vlog. So now my peeps, sometime in May, let me be more specific with you. I'm speaking about the 13th of May, 2022. The police and army personnel intercepted these weapons in an area called Commodore in the Linstead policing area. Now, as you can see, a 12 gauge shotgun on your screen, an M16 rifle, two 9mm pistols, four short magazines for the 9mm, one extended clip, and two clips for the M16 rifle. Well, judging from the looks of those heavy artillery, 
you can have a vivid imagery in your mind of the firepower that these criminal elements are walking around with. So when these criminal elements pounce upon a regular member of the public or an enemy of theirs, you know say a total chaos when them open up the belly of them wheel there. Yeah man, may I tell you. So now my peeps, make we look on some of the main perpetrators of crimes that is within the ranks of the infamous Trinity Gang out of Linstead, St. Catherine. Now on your screen is the leader of the Trinity Gang. He goes by the name of Kareem Burke, but popularly known in the criminal underworld as Reds. Now I spoke extensively about criminal migration and this person presently on your screen the leader of the trinity gang is one such person because this man is not from linstead this man hails from the troubled war-torn crime riddled community of central village big lane to be exact now this man had migrated criminal migration to the Trinity area of Linstead some time ago and formed for himself his own gang. Yeah man. Now this man very young as you can see by the looks of things. Not an old man at all. But he has done pretty well for himself in the criminal underworld. Because he used to live in a gated community over there in Draxall, St. Anne. Now, I've been saying this over and over. That the JCF really needs proper systems to be set in place. Where they can share information across police and parish borders. Because a lot of these criminal elements leave out of the community that they rule over and go live in some of these gated communities. Because rarely, unless the police got some serious intel, do we see a police patrol patrolling these areas or raids being carried out in these areas. These communities are reserved for the most affluent Jamaicans, so to speak. So doing well for themselves in the criminal underworld, it is very much easy for them to gain access to these more privileged houses or housing opportunities in these areas. So he used to live over there in the Draxall community in St. Anne but recently moved to another housing development yet to be ascertained because he had a fallout with some of his own soldiers so to speak and they are out for him. So he knows very well that they're out to get him and they know of that particular location. So he has since relocated. And just a word of advice to those persons doing Airbnbs. These men are wealthy, some of these criminals. So it is easy for them to do an Airbnb for a year or live in one of the luxurious five-star hotels for a year. But if you see a person have an extended stay that you don't know kind of seems suspicious, don't bother just watch the money where you collect. Watch the fact that you are enabling these criminal elements to hide from the long arms of the law. If you're unsure where this person is getting their monies from, alert the policeman. Make the police go do a little quick snap raid and go check him out. If him good, then yeah, him can continue him stay. But if not, he gots to go. <laughs> yeah, man. Now, this man presently on your screen is known in the criminal underworld as Brushy. Now, Brushy is the second in command of the infamous Trinity Gang. Brushy is definitely not a man 
for anyone to take light or take simple. As you hear the name, Brushy. Why you think him come by that name? Because him love Brushman. And we as Jamaicans, we know and understand the full term and the meaning of what it means for Brush Smaddy. Yeah, man, may I tell you. So this is Brushy, the man who is second in command of the Trinity Gang. Now, this man presently on your screen is known in the criminal underworld as Ratty. He does not reside in Jamaica anymore. He now resides among you, the members of the diaspora in Trinidad and Tobago. He ran away to Trinidad because of a knockings and clappings that he committed some time ago. So he ran away to seek refuge and try to escape the long arm of the law. So Ratty, we know so you do over Trini. So the rest of Jamaicans, them will know him and the need for infam on him. Yeah, man, me I tell you. I went and we say infam. Now, but I feel like say something bad. The regular members of John Public, the law abiding citizens of John Public, it is your civic duty to speak out or speak against persons of ill character. So don't think it is something bad as it was embedded in our minds growing up that in farm of a dead make we sweep aside that in farm of a lose them three pints culture and take on to the fact that it is our civic duty to do so. Yeah man. Now on your screen is other active members of the infamous Trinity Gang. Now starting from your left his name is Kimani. The one in the middle from the one to the left is no deceased. But guess what? Is a doggy dog world in the Trinity Gang because of them same one near him food and broke the plate. <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you. And of course, the one to the right is the man that I just featured that goes by the name of Brushy. Dangerous set of you them here. Yeah. So anytime on a see them faces here yeah, in the streets, yeah man, on a know what to do. On a have to make the police personnel in your area know what is going on. And if you don't trust the police in an area, reach out to the police in Spanish Town, the head station for the St. Catherine North Police Division. And if you still not trust this, call Crime Stop and give them the information. And of course, if you still not trust this, link up the JDF. And if no trust is there for the security forces, link up on the Spot News Media or any like minded blogger furnish us with the information and we will definitely pass it on to those who can effect change in your communities yeah man so anyway make we continue now on your screen is a 33 year old man named Shavator Beckett otherwise known in the streets as Beto he's from a Princefield area near Linstead this man's life was taken by criminal elements aligned to the Trinity Gang on July 30. Just shortly after, he left a little night spot in a Linstead Deso. Yeah, man, the Linstead back road, so to speak. The man go have a little fun time, so to speak, with a female who sells flesh. So, no totally understand what we are talking about, right, Deso? She offers female pleasure for sale. Now that man lose him three pints on that night. Well, some would say, boy, if I have to go in such a grisly manner, I would rather to go just as I leave out of that feminine pleasure cove. And that is what took place, sadly. Now this man presently on your screen is called midget now this man is also a part of the trinity gang and this man is responsible for taking the life of the 33 year old man shavator beckett otherwise known as beto in the streets this brother here pine screen is the knackis and clappis will take beto life some peeps take nothing for granted because these criminal elements their aim is to instill fear 
for you to play the hear no evil, see no evil game. But what will happen when it comes knocking on your door? The person who saw your family member or who saw you getting taken out by these criminal elements will continuously play that same game until it comes knocking on their door and the only person that continuously have a clean walk away is the criminal elements who continuously instill fear in us. So my peeps, you have to take a stand and report crimes as soon as you have the information or you have seen it. There is numerous ways to report these criminal elements anonymously. <laughs> yeah man. Now for those criminal elements who is still operating within the ranks of the Trinity Gang. Only remember this criminal element upon the screen, a member of Uno Gang. Yeah man, the same man we only used to walk up and down with and knock it and clap it with. The brother we used to collect the extortion money along with Omar Anderson in a Linstead area. Only remember, say Uno see him one, call him and trick him and name him food and broke the plate. Yeah man, because he nah share the extortion money. But guess what happened? I don't know if you remember how you dealt with that particular situation. What I got to stop it if it happened to you? What I got to stop the rest of the gang members if it come near your food in the same way? Nobody feel like say you're above or beyond certain things from happening to you. It happened to rat, it can happen to you too. So my advice to you is to turn from your wicked ways and step aside or step out of the trinity gang and try to lead and live a life which is crime free give it up and save your own life if not remember the mandatory sentence if the police wall you with a chapstick you know a 15 year much less if they find you with the chapstick when you just don't near my food you definitely not go see back road again forever so the choice is yours 15 years behind bars with a bugger man or out a road free like a bird in the tree and you can go and live a good life with your woman and kids. So anyway, a word to the wise is always sufficient. And if you can't heed to the warning, you're going to definitely get the can in. And on the spot news media would be pleased to play the old dirty corner boy song for you. Yeah man. So anyway, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah man.